is that your body is not just sitting there and watching you spend calories. It doesn't. Because energy is a very important, I would say, currency for your body. Because everything that you do requires energy. And because of that, you want to make sure that you plan, have energy all the time available. So, if you, have, if you increase your energy expenditure during exercise, after a while, your body becomes more efficient. In other words, you can do the same thing spending less. In your body, the more you train, the more efficient you become. Which means that your body tries to adapt so you can become capable of tolerating exercise, spending less energy. So it preserves itself. So this idea that the more you spend, the more your body wants to spend, is not true for your body. What happens is that when you spend too much energy and if you eat less, so you're offering less energy to your body and you're forcing it to spend more. So what happens is there are metabolic adaptations that occur in your body that lowers your resting metabolic rate. In other words, you tend to spend less energy to preserve what limited amount you have. And the more you do that, the more your body protects itself. And this is one of the reasons why it's so difficult to maintain weight loss. Why is that? Because your body protecting itself, you're gonna get hungry. Why? Because your body's gonna tell, look, we need more food, we need more food. So you're always trying to eat more, or your body's provoking you to eat more. So hunger goes up. You may be able to tolerate that and support that for a while. So what happens is that you lose weight and you keep doing that and you maintain it. And usually you have a weight loss in a short period of time that is quick and then it plateaus and it stays the same. Very difficult for you to continue losing. Why is it? Because <clears throat> in the beginning, the energy expenditure is high. Your body has not activated all these protective mechanisms yet, so there is a deficit of how much energy goes in, how much energy goes out, that deficit comes out of your adipose tissue, you lose weight. Some people also, because you consume some of the glycogen you have in your muscle and liver, some of it is gonna be water, because water goes out with glycogen as glycogen is depleted. Also, a large proportion of it is going to come out of your adipose tissue. But then, you're, within a period of time, your body senses it. And it starts activating all the mechanisms to protect it, lowers your resting metabolic rate, makes you more efficient. So now, with less energy, you can do more. Those adjustments happen to everyone. And happens all the time. Because your body is trying to protect itself from a situation where you have such a high demand of energy and if you have limited availability of food, it makes no sense because if you keep doing this, you're gonna die. As an evolutionary mechanism, people believe that your body was, or your body developed these mechanisms to try to protect itself. So your metabolic rate goes down and with that, you spend a lot less. And then, how, does, how do we notice that this is happening? Because you lose weight quickly and then it plateaus and becomes harder and harder for you to continue losing weight. The other thing that happens, how do you maintain that? Because there is a lot of cases where people lose quite a bit of weight, but they cannot maintain. Why? Because you have to spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week, fighting against a mechanism that your body is telling you to eat more and spend less. So in the end of the day, at some point, you're gonna lose the battle. And that's why the rate, success rate, of maintaining weight loss is less than 1%. Very, very small number of people can actually lose weight and maintain it over a year. Most of them regain and sometimes gain even more than what they had before. Why? Because now your body is more efficient, but you're eating more because you start, you, you you cannot tolerate that thing, you end up eating more, now you regain, you rebound, and your body weight goes up. So again, this idea of calories in, calories out is very misleading. We need to be able to think beyond that. 